And now we have lost two, the final two awards, the National Entrepreneur Champion. A big award, an amazing award. This is entrepreneurship at its finest. Uh, this person possesses all the traits of the ultimate entrepreneur. So the 2021 National Entrepreneur Champion. Sorry, Sakele, I may not pronounce your surname properly. You can help me when you come on. Sakele Mkobozi from Modern Centric Holdings. Please join me on stage. Well done, Sakele. You know, we are proud of you. The sponsors are proud of you. Our attendees are proud of you. You know, there were thousands of entries in your category. But I'll tell you what, your story is amazing. You stood out. And uh, I was handed the winners this morning. And uh, I quickly had a chance to look at your story as well. And I'm going to read your entire story soon. But, yeah, a very big congratulations, Sakele. And, you know, it's, 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 it's an amazing award. You know, you've come a long way, but I don't believe you've started yet. So, so, so again, tell us why you started. Why did you start? Why, why did you become an entrepreneur? And why did you start your business? And what makes you so unique in what you do? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Mike. Um, so, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, cool. So the reason why I started Modern Centric uh, is because I wanted to basically create inclusion uh, for everybody. I come with over 16 years of experience, you know, in the recruitment industry where I was mainly focusing on the marginalized, which is, you know, your matriculants that can you know, that cannot proceed, you know, in terms of tertiary education, that cannot be able to, you know, to proceed, you know, maybe there's financial issues and all those things. So what I used to do back then is that, you know, I'll basically invite all these kids who are currently sitting at home with metric and have lost hope. I'll train them, I'll give them work readiness programs, I'll give them employability programs, so that by the time they get to the workplace, they are actually ready. I'll teach them how to type your CV. I'll teach them exactly how to conduct yourself in, the, in, in an interview and also how to Conduct yourself in a workplace, but it was really nice, Mike, you know, to see the people that I've placed because I was working with big corporates. So it was really, really beautiful to see the people that I'm placing. And when you see them two years later, they say, Zach, you know, you, you walk in the mall and you see one of them. They say, Zach, actually, uh, where you place me, I've become, uh, I've, I'm now promoted. I'm now uh, a supervisor. I'm now a QA. It was really exciting. So it's also fulfilling for me. But I want to be honest with you, Mike. I really got bored at some point. I really, really got bored. And I wanted something fresh. I wanted something new. I wanted something innovative. And unfortunately, in me wanting something innovative, I actually got involved in an unfortunate incident where I was in an accident that got me into a coma for a longer period of six months, if I can say. And then um, I got off the coma, of course, after six months. And you can imagine the therapy sessions that I had to go for, therapy, the speech therapy, physiotherapy, and all those things. When I went back to work, I realized, actually, how ill-prepared corporate South Africa is when it comes to the accommodation, the reasonable accommodation of persons with disability. And then it fueled me to actually start something really, really to, to, to focus on this group. And um, oh, I'm so excited, Mike. I'm so sorry. I'm really trying to. It's just too much excitement. Uh, and then. Um, I then actually said, okay, cool, you know what, my company is not understanding what I'm trying to do because I wanted to actually start up a, a, a recruitment department that would focus, really focus on persons with disability. But at that time, you know, the process was too slow. And then I started Modern Centric. I'm proud to say that, you know, within that time, you know, of starting Modern Centric, we've really, really grown. We are a multi award winning entrepreneur, and there's a lot of things that are happening, and we are still growing as a business. But what I'm basically doing as Modern Centric is actually focusing on the marginalized. And when I say marginalized i am speaking about persons with disability i'm talking about the lgbtqi to lgbtqip plus community as well okay great you know zach i know that you've been through some enormous challenges and uh, can you highlight can you highlight your biggest challenge and how you overcame it uh for me mike um it's actually 
going to corporate and making corporate understand, you know, how to reasonably accommodate, you know, persons with disability, because we've seen a lot of things, you know, a lot of corporates, they want to transform, they want to create change, but they don't know how to do it. Sometimes, you know, what, what we've been seeing in corporate, especially when it uh, comes to the employment of persons with disability, they only think that, you know, a person with disability is only good for an entry-level position, a receptionist, uh, a data capture administrator, but they don't even understand, actually, you can still get a person with disability who is an MD, who's actually an executive on IT director and things like that. So that is actually what we are doing. And what we are doing right now, we are going throughout the country, creating awareness and creating workshops where we're inviting corporate, telling them, them exactly what constitutes disability, what does not constitute disability, and how you can actually integrate disability into the workplace. Well, and, and tell me, uh, Zach, your biggest advice to new startups or those who want to become an entrepreneur, what can you say? It's few things. Be innovative, have a purpose, think big, and also have fun whilst doing it. Have fun. <laughs> Absolutely. And it looks like you're having a lot of fun there, Zach. Indeed. So, uh, <laughs> family around. Can you, can you put your family or your, your friends in so we can say hi to everybody there? Okay, cool. No problem. Hey guys. Come, guys. Come. <laughs> 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 well done, guys. Zach. I see that you've got, it's like a black tie dinner you go breakfast you have in there, Zach. But, Zach, congrats, a big congrats to you and a very big well done. I know we haven't seen the last of you, but to all our attendees out there, you'll see Zach's story on Tuesday, an impressive story, an emotional story, and uh, take good care of yourself, Zach.